always sort of thought that something like motivation was complete BS. Mostly because like throughout times I felt really really motivated but I still wasn't taking any action. But it turns out there's actually a lot more things behind it, both neuroscientific and psychologically. So I'm gonna do everything it takes to be able to feel as motivated as possible because I have a coaching exam in a couple of days, which will determine if I get my certification or not now, so... Saturday today and um, it's kind of depressing but it's really nice because the yellow dust season is going on strong and it's been horrible in the air the past couple of days. I don't know if you've seen the photos both from China and Korea. It's ridiculous and I feel like I can feel it in my throat. It's kind of scary but it's been raining so it kind of feels like all of this dust has been cleansed out of the air a little bit today. So Jake and I were heading out and we're doing some rainy day shopping. I really need some like colorful summer dresses. I just want to have a little bit more color in my wardrobe, so let's go shopping! I really like this dress, but I just know that this color is so bad on me. <laughs> Why? I don't know, I just look at my skin color. It looks good with darker skin though, for sure. It does, like look at her, she looks beautiful. But I, I did the color, um, what is that called? The color color analysis on my skin yesterday and strong colors um, she said keep that for like a point in your outfit like not the whole she said muted um, toned down colors are better for me this is the same baby the same fabric as my other dress but yeah. this one is really cute I like this yeah and I'm gonna show my boobs then yeah okay so what I'm looking for is like summer stuff like colorful it's been a long time since I danced on something Jake can agree with as well. It's mm. cute. But I feel like, you know, I'm looking for both something like this, a little bit more like style, like modern, elegant, but then I'm also looking for stuff like this, which is more like cute and sweet and easy and it's like very lightweight in the summer, right? It's an everyday dress. This is not an everyday dress. But Jake thinks this is dressing too young. <laughs> he thinks this is childish. Fuck what Jake says. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful, but ugh, I just this cut out for my shoulders. I'm not a fan. Look how Actually, I like that, but I still like the first one best. I look like a porn actor with this. Oh, but what about this one? We're looking for sunglasses for Jake. He doesn't need sunglasses. He says he never needs sunglasses, but he's looking for some because he doesn't like people. So he wants, <laughs> wants to hide. <laughs> the alarm for 7 30 this morning and i really wanted to snooze it to be honest but we all know how that makes it feel so i was eager to get out and do something called a low dopamine morning basically i am restricting myself from the things that really shoot my dopamine levels in the sky 
For example, starting with scrolling on the phone and such, we all know that it's generally not a good thing to do that first thing in the morning for a lot of different reasons, but also because of your dopamine levels. It might sound a little bit counterintuitive that we want to restrict dopamine in order to feel more motivated, but the whole point behind it is that we need to regulate dopamine to the areas that actually matter. Sometimes a high level of dopamine, but in a sense that puts you in a trance, something like scrolling or Netflix or... It's taking away your ability to actually have dopamine releases for things that actually matter to you. And that's what I did this morning. I started cleaning the house, which to me, honestly, is always a great way to start the morning. I always do that. I just have 20 minutes of scrolling beforehand. So, um, yeah, but now I'm, I'm ready to work and it's, uh, it's only been an hour since I woke up. So I think I'm feeling great. I'm actually feeling excited to work which I always am. So maybe that's not a good comparison. <laughs> I have a little surprise for you. Oh, I have um, prepared something for you that I think you're gonna like. A while ago, I launched a skincare box where I picked my favorites and I put it in the box and I put it heavily discounted up for you guys. You've asked for something similar since then, so I have prepared another box together with Witch Trend. Okay, summer is right around the corner and if you're anything like me, you have really oily skin, it's hot weather, and you feel like your luscious glow is really more coming from sweat than it is from aluminum skin. I've gathered four products that are my go-to this summer. The original price is $108 for all of these four products and I am giving them 40% off with Wish Trend for just $64. The theme of this box is summer, so all of these products are really lightweight and some of them combat sebum. It's just gonna be the overall solution to usually everyone's summer heat problems, right? <laughs> It consists of the Mockward Mask, the very trending snail mucin, and also a propolis cream and an eye cream. So let's get cracking. First up, the Mockward Mask. I feel like it's hard to see a clear difference with a lot of different skincare products, but Mockward is always something that I've seen an immediate effect with. Jake and I, we got obsessed with Mockward Masks um, when we first met. And uh, fun fact, I think our first selfie is us wearing a Mockward Mask together because we just fell in love particularly because I feel like it kind of strips away that excess oil and also my acne somehow always looks less red after wearing it. Don't know the science behind that, it's just the experience that I've had. I particularly like this one because it's not one of those that dries out. I don't like the drying out feeling, it just feels like it's not good for my skin. So this one is not drying out and it is absolutely amazing. The redness on my acne just goes right in. Also, mugwort is native to Korea. You can literally pluck it anywhere in the countryside. I recommend doing it away from the city. It can be used for a lot of different things. And um, yeah, I like having something native. Next up, it's probably the star of the show <laughs> just because it's so viral and it's so trendy. And for obvious reasons. I mean, have you guys seen the TikToks? They talk for themselves. And I recently kind of like changed from being kind of grossed out about snail products to being really obsessed and this product really pushed me over the edge. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know why it looks like this on the skin, but it just does. It looks beautiful. You can see for yourself when I'm putting this on. It's a beautiful product and um, yeah, I get why anyone is loving it. Claire's Nourishing Eye Butter. I love this product. <laughs> over the past year, I would say, I've really noticed a clear difference in my eye bags. I feel like they are losing moisture, probably just because I'm getting older, but also it's just, I've never worn an eye product before and I started wearing eye cream after a sponsor. I got really, really obsessed with it because I see a clear difference um, in the skin under my eye. It's like it lightens up, probably because of the moisture. <laughs> so I've tried a lot of different ones because I wanted to find what fits well with me. And honestly, this one is the most basic that I could find. It is so basic. It is nothing special, which is why I like it. For my eyes, I just need pure moisture. And I feel like this is giving that. Like it's thick enough, not too thick to like crease my makeup up, but also it's thick enough to kind of moisturize. Sometimes the simple is the best. <laughs> then we have the Wish Trend Propolis Balance Energy Balancing Cream. Okay, these Korean names are always so long. I'm usually like a thick cream kind of girl. 
But, you know, the Korean summers do not agree with that. The Korean summers are ruthless, they are so sticky and greasy and hot and humid. So I feel like in the summer here I have to give up my, my obsession for thick creams. I also know that most of you guys really prefer something, it's in the middle. This one is to the lighter side, but it is so quickly absorbed. Like, your skin feels butter smooth after without being sticky. I like the sticky feeling, but not in the summer, not in the summer. Here in the summer, I need something like this, which absorbs into your skin and lays like a smooth base on top. Your skin almost feels like silky afterwards. These two together are like a match made in heaven. It makes your skin look so good and like that perfect glass skin base. It also has the propolis, which is not only great for anti-aging, but also it's really good for moisturization and it is really, really gentle. So um, these products in general are fitted for sensitive skin types. So those are the four products. When you order the box here, you also get a couple of extra gifts, like some sheet masks from Claire's. But the box is only available for a month, so if you need your skincare routine set for the summer, I really recommend you to being quick. It's a steal, honestly, and uh, I think uh, your skin will thank you. <laughs> I can vouch for this for sure. All of the links are down below, so be sure you check it out and let me know if you've ever tried any of these products and what you think down below. Let's have a summer skincare talk. I have been trapped inside for a couple of days since I've been sick, so I'm heading out to a cafe in my area to work. but <clears throat> the intercom called twice the intercom meaning the little screen that's in your apartment in a lot of Korean apartments and it called down from like the kambishi which is like the maintenance office like where the guards that guards the apartment complexes sit they can call up to you and they're like old Korean men right I am not scared about making phone calls or stuff like that totally fine I have no problems with it but when it's old Korean men I don't even understand when they tell me to have a nice day like there's just a difference in the way that Korean men and especially like ajashis like old, older men are talking like they're mumbling so much I don't know what they're saying and now they called again and I tried to pick up because Jake said come on girl you can do it <laughs> But then I accidentally hung up instead of picking up. Maybe my subconscious really didn't want to talk to them, but I was like, fuck. Sometimes girls are struggling of like living in a different country where the language is like not something you've learned in school. Yeah, so now I just lost my confidence. having a little dance and singing session for myself and I have my really good playlist on and then like there was a song coming on oh my god am I I must be like in that phase in my cycle right now but like father John Misty real love baby have you heard that song it's freaking good Celia recommended it to me when she lived here and I was listening to it and I just started crying because I really miss her <laughs> Oh my god, am I really... I think... I think my period is coming up. <laughs> I just miss my friend. I'm starving though, so let's make some food and stop crying. <sighs> to do. 
distract myself by talking, I feel like. <laughs> so tonight is my coaching certification exam and I am so excited, honestly. I'm, I mean, like, I'm most excited to get it over because, like, for the actual exam, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's not really an exam, it's basically just an observation, so they... I'm gonna have a, a regular client call and some teachers from the academy are going to um, observe it on the same call. So basically like when I know that there is something coming up that I'm really gonna need a lot of mental power and mental strength and mental focus on, I obviously need to make sure that my motivation is in top. And that means having energy on top as well. I went to the gym this morning and then I went to do some grocery shopping. Working out in the morning and then also having really like hearty filling food with lots of good nutrients in it gives you energy. I mean, that's not new science. We've known this for a very long time, right? Anyways, what I'm basically trying to say with that is that there are many ways that aren't mental in which we can change our motivation and our ability to focus and get things done because at the end of the day, the whole reason why we want to feel motivated is so that we're able to take action, right? So I'm not gonna leave anything up to coincidences today. I'm gonna kill this observation and I'm very determined to do so. These flowers, the pink flowers, and also the white ones, they're all over Korea right now. It's breathtaking. Look at that. Mm, I love spring. I don't usually come to this area, this is Kungduk, but there is a park here and I really wanted to go for a little walk. It's kind of like a really long park going from one end of Mapu to the other. And I have to go to the cafe either way to study for the test. Oh my god, families are playing with their dogs and their kids. It makes my heart flutter. <laughs> There's so many people outside right now, even though it's just a Tuesday. It's kind of nice. This day started off raining like cats and dogs, but now it's bright, blue skies. Amazing. Life is about appreciating these small moments, right? I have a good feeling, but I also don't dare saying that I have a good feeling 
because I'm so scared that I'm gonna fail but if I I don't know where it's just like a, a fear that I have but um, I think it's because I actually hold myself to quite high standards in my coaching I I know that I'm quite good and I love it I feel like I'm good and I feel like I did good and I feel like I should be a little bit more comfortable saying that it feels really wrong saying that on camera even right now but Confidence is good, <laughs> so I'm gonna try to embody this confidence. I'm going to be let know within five working days if I've passed, and once I get that email, hopefully saying congratulations, then I'm a certified coach. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just like, I'm just happy that it's over, that I don't need to worry about an exam, and that is until I'm getting my International Coaching Federation's accreditation exam, that is, but that probably first will happen in eight months' time. Anyways, I'm gonna hop to bed now, so um, I just wanna quickly here in the end encourage you to check out the skincare box that I created down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye!